Navratri is he, he he has scolded. taken blue and black <laughs> he scolded everyone and then he said how you people can eat a dead body that triggered me a lot and from the day onwards i stopped eating non veg and from the day i started slowly doing the meditation hello my dear friends namaste and welcome in our beautiful episode of beer master i'm kavita your host so we have very senior master today from vijayawada who settled in delhi and he started his meditation journey 25 years back let's know more about him his journey how he moved from south to north and how he started how he has done all grassroots work for meditation and pssm he's like my elder brother so i always call him krishna anna so let's welcome krishna anna welcome thank you so krishna anna how did you start your meditation journey i started meditation i think in the year 1998 mm-hmm. when i was doing my pss one mm-hmm. uh, during the time my father went to karnol on his uh, business trip or official trip there he met patri ji at uh, uh, buddha pyramid then he uh, learned about meditation about anapanasati meditation and he meditated in the pyramid and he was very much inspired with patri ji and after that he came home and he started arranging some sessions of patri ji in our town vijayawada so i was doing my plus two uh, my plus one in a uh, hostel uh, of course i was staying in the hostel in i was staying in the hostel then i came uh, for holidays then there was one program of patri ji and my dad took me to that program and in that program uh, of course we went late uh, at the end i was there in that program and there i saw patri ji uh asking the meditators to share their experience mm-hmm. uh in that experience i still remember that experience that uh, i think she is of age some 15 to 16 years 16, 15 to 20 years of age and she uh, she shared her experience saying that she did meditation a different kind of meditation at her early ages at her early uh, around some 7 years or 8 years of age and she used to get plenty of experiences and in that experience she, she used to see her own body whenever she sits in meditation and she used to see that it is dead okay and by looking on to uh, by looking on to that experience she she was afraid and she stopped doing the meditation then patri sir told her that this is an out of body experience and this is uh, what everyone has to experience and it's not only meditating we also have to know some good knowledge by reading some good books i are by reaching out to the people who have some good knowledge in the spirituality so that was the first uh, thing that what uh, i have heard from patri ji in that session and after that the next day toward he came to our house and he took one meditation session and during that session he taught about vegetarianism of course he asked everyone is there, is there anyone non veg eaters here so everyone raised their hand they are very happy to share that they are non vegetarians and also they shared what kind of food they make and which in which uh, uh, non vegetarian they are good at then patri ji he he has scolded. taken blue and black <laughs> he scolded everyone and then he said how you people can eat a dead body that triggered me a lot and from the day onwards i stopped eating non veg and from the day i started slowly doing the meditation of course my mom she is a vegetarian from from her childhood but in my uh, house my father used to eat so we also had a little bit of non veg of course it's not every day uh, eating egg non veg and all these things but occasionally monthly once or whenever some relatives come to our house then we used to take a little bit right so you are uh, being into software profession how i took this challenge now because you are in delhi mm-hmm. you are settled there so how was this journey see doing just meditation for our own self is different but i have seen you from very beginning when yeah. i entered into uh, this society uh, i have seen you very closely 
you work really yeah, relentlessly from the starting i am very clear that i have to study i have to do the job and wherever i i do the job i have to spread this meditation so in the same way uh, after my plus 2 i did my engineering from chennai and from chennai i went to pune for doing a job and there i uh, spent a lot of time for the shirdi dhyana yagna and during that dhyana yagna we all know right navakant uma mahesh we all one team then we all one youth team then so we all uh, sat one evening at a at a uh, pune gultakdi meditation center and we are doing a chit chat and then we started saying that okay we will go to this place and we will spread meditation and we we started distributing the states then i said that i will go to delhi and from there we will go and spread in rajasthan uttar pradesh and all these things mm-hmm. of course it was just for fun we are we have done it but later i realized that it's not fun nothing comes out of a masters uh, from masters just as a fun and later after 5 uh, to 6 months i got a job in uh, delhi of course in gurgaon and i shifted to uh, gurgaon and for the 6 months i was completely dedicatedly working for the organization because i had to first cope up with the organization right, right? yes and i joined i think in the month of june and it was crazy weather there you know how gurgaon is uh, the weather at gurgaon is so i thought that i don't think i can stay for a longer time but it went on and uh, after a few months we started uh, thinking of having a meditation center in delhi mm-hmm. so early in the morning at 6 o'clock of course in the june it's it, it was uh, hot and in the winter it was very cold yeah right so in the month of december uh, one of our master banu ji he came to delhi and me and banu we went uh, we went uh, to delhi to different colonies and we identified one one place for opening the meditation center okay in february patri sir has given the dates to come and inaugurate the center he came on in the month of feb in the month of feb and we inaugurated that meditation center of course it is a gautam buddha a uh, meditation center that is the first meditation center in delhi before that we many times patri sir was there he was uh, te- he was taking s- sessions at different places of course there are very few masters we can count them on fingers but once we started that meditation center then many people came mm-hmm. and of course almost for 3 years whatever the whatever the salary that we get we used to donate for it we used to take care of doing the programs in delhi great so how is the journey see you being in a uh, very you know young mm mm-hmm. uh, f- you said that that was fun for you the beginning stage mm. and if we compare uh, meditators with other youth fun for them is partying and you know uh, roaming mm mm-hmm. so how it was really fun for you how did you jo- how it was so fun in psm right okay. uh, patri ji used to take all of us to jungles uh-huh. for trekking and generally the youth like trekking right and also uh, uh, we used to participate in many vegetarian rallies by then so it's not like only sitting in meditation and uh, chatting with the old people it's not only the thing and okay. also we used to see patri ji more energetic by then you it's not like uh, okay i am some swami ji you come and uh, take my blessings he never used to say that of course i used to keep on observing rather than uh, doing many things in the first one year i was completely in an, in an observative state wherever there is a program i used to go i used to meet the people there and i used to do a little of meditation and slowly slowly i started getting more into it and just like me there are many angsters by then where they are very much inspired and uh, i am very much inspired by uh, medicos of course by then there is a good team of uh, medicos padma sadashiv gk so these all people they used to study in um, in that medical college at vijayawada Mm-hmm. so by looking on to them i got inspired that it's not just only for the oldies but it is really need for the youngsters yes you said about uh, observing patri ji mm-hmm. very closely 
what are your main learnings from him no there are many good things there are i won't say there are many good things all things that what i am today is because of him of course we learn uh, how to speak and we learn how to um, communicate with the people and also we learn how to eat and how to serve what not and also there are many things that what i have learned from him uh, especially he used to teach about a non interference earlier for every small thing we we used to think that we are helping them but unfortunately i came to know that it is not helping we are interfering in their yeah in their livelihood so from then i clearly understood what is non interference and even now even of course i i'm married I, i have a small daughter and whenever she was doing something i never interfere whenever she comes and asks then only i help her and even to my wife as well that is really very much important and uh, that we learned here pati ji mm-hmm. taught us very uh, from small things how to live our life how to behave how to talk where to talk how much right. to talk and uh, serving that is really a beautiful thing so yes let's talk on service mm-hmm. why service is important see it's not the service is important the service it will come on its own suppose you you you, you have some you have some biscuits in your hand and you can eat only two right you will have to and the remaining you will give it to others right that's what you think that as it service so basically it's not service actually right yeah so everything see whatever that we are doing to us the first thing whenever you start meditating that is the first service that what you do to yourself and whenever you start understanding what you are and serving your own self then you start giving that energies to others either by sharing your experience or by teaching someone or by giving something that what you have or feeding someone that whenever it is needed so patri ji always used to say that you first meditate then you will see the service coming as an outcome of it yes so in pssm you generally see all these things happening we serve food to the food to the people we serve by delivering some good lectures giving gyan and also patri ji always used to say that if anyone is looking out for water if you give it or not it's fine and if anyone looking out for food if you are giving or not it's fine but if anyone looking out for a gyan you have to give it so in all services he says that giving knowledge to others sharing knowledge to others is the ultimate service of course that is what we are doing now we are teaching meditation to uh, med- meditation in schools in societies and in corporate so wherever there is a need of meditation we are doing it and of course we know that today is the day for meditation so anna uh, you shifted to delhi long back right how was it earlier the hurdles you have gone through because if we just even think about patri ji that time he i mean him traveling to a different mm-hmm. city for teaching meditation to a single person that time it was really very hard yeah. now now media channel and so many other you know uh, things are there uh, mediators are there which we can use and we can reach to people to teach meditation how it was for you when you shifted to delhi yeah i just told you right the atmosphere uh, the temperature at delhi how hot it is during summers and uh, yeah, how was the response every, from people in the in the initial days they don't they don't like to be into meditation because everyone feels that it is not the time for them to do it but slowly uh, we used to spread meditation in parks we used to go to parks on saturdays and sundays and we used to pick up a park we used to distribute the pamphlets to each and every one and whoever asked some questions we used to uh teach them meditation and we used to explain them what the meditation is what happened i will share one of my experience of the starting that uh, meditation care center in delhi after 6 months we were in some depths in, in 
in taking care of that center and also we took one flat means whoever the masters from south they came around some 10 to 15 people they used to be there in that house and they used to go and teach meditation uh, in in the nearby colonies so we were uh, we were running a little low with the money and with with some crisis so uh, then i thought that why we are doing this uh, how we can manage all these things and all and one sunday i went to meditation center and at around i think 2 o'clock i went into that meditation room and i sat in meditation for 2 hours after me getting out of the meditation there was one person sitting there he also woke up at the same time he also woke up at the same time and he came along with me and he started sharing his experience and what he shared is uh, one week before he thought of uh, doing a suicide oh but because of getting that palm plate he came to the center and from last one week he is regularly doing meditation so vigorously and he changed his mind and he said that hey now i am really fine by having this center and i am very happy to get this meditation center here in delhi that one experience has given me a lot of strength so whatever happens the center will be there forever we have to run this center and we have to spread the meditation to all the delhiites wow. then uh, we form as a group and we started contributing uh, all together and also my colleagues my my colleagues also started supporting me mm-hmm. whenever i am in need of money they used to give and there are many masters they started donating f- to spread meditation in delhi and actually we moved on to delhi have, having a vision of having a very bigger grand program in rishikesh and haridwar just like how we did in uh, in shirdi of course in shirdi is the first Uh, time where we are doing uh, dhyana yagna out of andhra pradesh mm-hmm. of course by then uh, andhra pradesh and telangana are one state so we have conducted several dhyana yagnas in karnool vijayawada um, vizag tirupati at all these places and we went to shirdi and after shirdi we wanted to go and do it in rishikesh and haridwar how was their experience especially in rishikesh haridwar so of course initially we didn't jump down to the rishikesh we first started doing uh, doing the sessions doing the workshop patriji workshops and programs in delhi and slowly we started uh, having our team do- team build and for continuously for 3 years we have run that center after that we have another one more center at sabdajing and clear where uh, mr shastri ji has also joined mm-hmm. and from there onwards we took a bigger leap we conducted several programs within delhi and also we conducted a uh, good number of programs even in tihar jail as well wow of course we have one senior master nalini kamal madam and uh, she knows the dig of uh, the tihar jail and every week we used to go to tihar jail and we used to teach meditation to those uh, people mm-hmm. is there any uh, particular result in jail after meditation yeah there is a lot of uh, uh, cha- lot of changes that happen to the prisoners one experience that i can share is uh, one lady uh, whenever she used whenever she used to go to the court she used to talk very aggressively with the judge and every time he used to postpone her release for 6 months and after she knowing about the meditation and getting uh, getting habituated to these meditation sessions on that day when she was meditating osho came and said that today you don't talk a single word in front of judge oh okay if you talk anything then you won't come you you can't go out of this prison she went to the court she didn't speak any single thing and the court immediately within a month they gave a release to her wow and of course there are many uh, angsters means where uh, where, uh, where uh, they learn meditation and they realize that what the thing that they have done is not a right thing and also there was one small pyramid also that was constructed in tihar jail where they are experiencing the pyramid meditation 
it's not only in uh, tihar jail we also conducted meditation sessions at uh, nsg national security guard at uh, manisa it's a black cat uh, uh, nsg campus is there in manisa and there we went there uh, we have brigadier satyadi through him we went to that place and we have taught meditation to many nsg candidates we have done several programs in that a campus and it's not only this tihar jail and nsg we also did several programs at itbt of course it's a border security force uh, mr ramchandran sir he is our pyramid master senior pyramid master and sir used to like him a lot and he organized several programs at his place wow i mean uh, i'm really amazed by listening all these experiences the p and also the the pmc now uh, the pmc hindi alekya amulya and we have a good number of uh, somya uh, charu and there are many people akash and all these youngsters uh, they joined us and from there we started moving a lot in how, teaching how's the the, how's the energy in uh, youngsters uh, it's it was it was really awesome i think you you might also be inspired by them right yes yes definitely especially that uh, jaipur experience right right and kurukshetra experience it was really awesome of it course did. that is uh, the thing of course this is what we have done for uh, the first 3 to 4 to uh, years in delhi and when we uh, uh, understood that we are doing really good first 4 to 5 years we were completely uh, focusing in delhi and we did several programs of patri ji and also we have done some uh, two days workshops and three days workshops in uh, uh in in delhi and from there we uh, and we we started inviting all the other uh, surrounding north indian masters means the people from rajasthan uh, punjab haryana chandigarh uh, up lucknow kanpur bihar so all these the around delhi there are some 7 to 8 states means where they can travel overnight to delhi and they can participate in those meditation sessions and from there we uh, we used to invite all these people so it's a good retreat yeah uh, it's a good retreat for everyone and from then fr- from there onwards they started understanding means how to do these uh, two days programs and three, three days programs with patri ji and they started inviting to their places like ludhiana we have rachana rachana gupta ma'am and anil bharti sir yes. so from so if the, if sir has to go to ludhiana he used to first come to delhi he used to spend with us for 3 to 4 days and from there he used to go to ludhiana in the same way from ludhiana we have some good ludhiana and chandigarh we have some masters where they took patri ji to uh, jaipur of course they have conducted one or two programs and after that the people are not turning back so then i felt it, it's really bad why the people are not turning back when my when sir is going there so then i used to meditate a lot and i used to uh, request universe that we need a good team in jaipur then uh, suddenly on one day one madam from jaipur she called me and she asked me about how, about this meditation about pyramid meditation and all and in between my office i explained her what is the meditation what is anapanasati and regularly she used to call me and it went for almost a month and after that she asked me why can't you come to jaipur and teach meditation so early morning 4 o'clock me and shastri ji uh, we went uh, by drive to jaipur and there i that is the first time i met swati swati mm-hmm. ponala mm-hmm. and we three we took that meditation session and we came back and from then onwards uh and immediately after some 2 to 3 weeks later uh we took patri ji and we had a session there okay we did several sessions in jaipur and from there we took him to udaipur and also we did some very good sessions in ludhiana chandigarh kanpur lucknow so in all north indian cities means which are around delhi we have organized several programs and this gave us a good confidence and when uh, mr kishore our pyramid master kishore when he moved from he, he he moved from gujarat to delhi and in delhi he was there for i think few months and he shifted to rishikesh 
and after that he asked patriji to have one uh, program on every uh, in every year sharad purnima mm-hmm. and before that what we before that uh, we thought of organizing a buddha purnima in uh, in rishikesh we thought of organizing with a smaller group and when we discussed with patri sir he said that uh, uh, he said he will also come for a day wow. generally we know right patri ji he won't uh, uh, during buddha purnima he always used to be there in yes. bangalore yeah but that is the first time he said that i will come for one day to uh, rishikesh to attend that program and that really bumped up our energies and we did that program for two days for one day sir was there and the next day we carried out and that buddha purnima has given us an inspiration to organize a north indian dhyan maha chakra in rishikesh that is our first goal to have a north india dhyan maha chakra but as the people doesn't know dhyan maha chakras and all because they are uh, completely uh, it's uh, sanatana dharma people they always used to be there right so we named it as uh, mahayogi dhyan kumb mm-hmm. there we have swami narayana uh, organization and we aligned with them and we did our first mydk program in alliance with uh, swami narayana of course even till today whenever we do this mydk we used to have their alliance and of course we we were alliance with many organizations in rishikesh to have these 3 uh, days 3 to 4 days of uh, mahayogi dhyan ko i mean spending time especially in rishikesh during that time yeah that and is... it was a wonderful journey yes you know means every uh, friday evening friday night at 3 o'clock we used to leave from delhi and uh, we used to be there at 9 uh, 10 o'clock in rishikesh we used to do all these discussions with all dif- different supporters and we used to be back on the same day to uh, delhi either it's on the same day or we used to come back on sunday back to our back to our, back to delhi and from monday onwards we used to go to our regular routine jobs of course by then shastri ji also used he also used to um, work for an organization as a director and of course i am a i am a software engineer so i have to be in, at office yeah. monday for sure but on weekends we used to manage the things very well and we used to plan the things very well and we did these programs yes and now we will take a small break because uh, we i know we, uh, we have lot of stuff to share with our audience friends just don't go anywhere after this break we will come up with a new topic on his life purpose how his life purpose is uh, not just doing meditation or spreading meditation but also connected with you know publication publishing books you can get lot of books you can order books from his uh, you know website so for that be connected with us so thank you so much uh, anna thank for joining you. us for sharing your wisdom Thank you. Thank you.